Hey guys, this is another uh, one of these videos. I, uh, this one I think is a little more action packed. This guy is named uh, Bay Area Transparency. Uh, this is an old video, I guess, from a year ago. He's going into the Buck County Admin Office. Ain't that funny? The um, let's, let's pick up the action. Uh, no, I'm good for now. Personal uh, purpose. <laughs> Excuse me. I just want to say this these are public uh, workers that work for the public and when a private citizen or a citizen of the public of a t basically a taxpayer ask a, a public employee <clears throat> what their name is they have to tell them that there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. If you don't like it, don't be a damn public servant. You know, that's what you are. You're a servant. You're serving the public. You're paid by the taxpayer. You're, you know, when they come in for a particular service, you know, they, it's their job to, uh, when asked, tell, tell them who identify themselves and uh, they should be kind and respectful towards them and <clears throat> unfortunately uh, most people that uh, have negative attitudes and bad attitudes are in the places of uh, being public servants and they ha have no business being a public servant because they they're they're mean and nasty and uh, this is a perfect example right here um, well, For our safety, you need to go out. Uh, can I ask why? Or? Because it, we're, we deal with a lot of instruments, and, and we don't have recordings other than our recordings in here. So you need you need to go out. Gotcha. That okay. Or turn it off. Okay. Um, all right. Let me just finish up, and then I'll no, be you know what? I will. Um, we can call the district attorney right now, and they'll come in here. If you want to do that, can I ask your name? You don't need my name. You need to leave. You work you here. Turn you off. work here, right? You need to turn it off. Ma'am, don't try to hit me. I'm not trying to hit you. Yeah, you turn do. It <laughs> turn it off. Do you work here? Turn the camera off. No, I'm trying I'm to get your name. Here just to talk to if you work for the public, then you're supposed to give us your name. No. So. I don't need to give you my name. Then the district attorney is going to tell you that there's nothing that they can do. Because this is a public office? The office. So, can I have your name? No. Leave can, I, the can I have your name, please? Leave the office. It doesn't, ma'am, it doesn't work like that. <laughs> when I'm done taking, when, when I'm done taking my pictures, I'll leave for sure. Okay. Leave the office. When I'm done take, when I'm done taking my pictures, I will leave. <laughs> when, when I'm done, I will leave. Sir, do you mind sitting outside? I do, actually, yeah. I do. Yeah. Taking some pictures? The device, it's a cell phone. <laughs> well, it should be put away, right? So, public office, right? Do you have any business in here? Well, right now, this. 
stone people? No. <laughs> Ma'am, you don't, you don't have the authority here. <laughs> Neither do they. Absolutely. <laughs> so. It's a public office. Am I right? Is this a public lobby? It is. Okay, cool. So you guys can be on your way then, right? What's your name, man? Uh, I'm not going to give it. But I do need her name because of the way she acted. No. Um, I don't appreciate you recording me. It's enough to get your picture. So. Well, <laughs> now I'm gathering content for a story I'm doing on this office. So. You, you can't tell me that, man. Calm down, please. Calm it down. <laughs> yeah. I don't need any help. Nope, just going to take my pictures and I'll be out of here. So, that's it. Well, if you wouldn't have reacted that way, then it probably wouldn't be there. So, anyways, yeah, I'm just going to continue to take my pictures. And Well, right now, this is right now. This is my business, so I'm gonna gather my content, right. and then if I have anything else, I'll ask them. Did you have so. a current situation? Is what I'm asking. You and I speak no, I don't need to speak. I don't. I don't need to speak to you guys at all. Don't wish to speak to you. Who are you, brother? Oh, my name's Sabrina. And what's your position here? District Attorney's Office. District Attorney's Office. Okay. Are you a lawyer? No. I'm not. Oh, okay. If you were, you would know that there's nothing you can do. Can I have your name? Back to school savings are red right this year at Office Depot Office Max. Shop today and save up to 60 And who do you work for? The DA's office. DA's office, okay. And your name, sir? Chris Liston. Work with the DA's office. And do you guys have badge numbers? Sorry, ID, ID number 15? Um, what about you? 13? Yep. And I'm 11. 11, okay, so go, it goes up and down the, the chain there. Cool, all right, so I'm just gonna finish up taking pictures and then I'll be out of here like I told them very calmly, just like I am right now, so. Well, if there's, a, if there's an issue or a situation that is going on that we can assist in or help out with this. I know you said that, but I don't, I don't need anything. I just need to finish what I'm doing here to gather the content. Yeah, and sir, may I ask what you're doing for your content? Um, yeah, I don't, I don't expose that because it could, it could, uh, you know, mess up the story that I'm doing, right? Story, so. I, I missed the beginning, so I apologize coming in afterwards if you've already explained yourself, sir. What do you need yeah, to do? I, I'm not, I'm not going to do it again. I'm just taking pictures. Okay. Pretty easy. Well, in the same age, when people are taking pictures of a public office, you can see how it kind of sounds and, and is for the situation that's been going on all over the nation, so. Hmm. I just appreciate if you work with us. We're here being cooperative with you. Well, so I, I mean, I, I'm well. being as cooperative as I have to be. Oh. So. Well, was there something that you're just frowned with or leading it? No, 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 no. I, I don't, I don't have time to talk. I need to finish what I'm doing. Sorry. <laughs> I'm not going to keep going round and round, question and question here. Okay. Do they have a hmm? Do they have a question? Yeah. Yeah. Stop sign. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So can you see why it's kind of Can you can you back up? Yeah. Your I, don't, I don't want people to have arm length, okay? Information. But, what's, what's, what's that what's that mean? <laughs> and what's that mean? Is that a law? Is it a law? <laughs> Is it a law? It's not a law. Okay, Bay fam, let me just stop that right there. This man who is a district attorney, a district attorney investigator, he works with lawyers, picks up a sign that says no cell phones, and is trying to enforce this on me. And when asked if this was a law, he says it's not a law. I mean, I literally cannot make this stuff up. Let's keep going. Okay, well then we don't enforce rules and policies. <laughs> we enforce laws. Okay? So, negative. Right now it says no cell phones. Doesn't matter. It's not a law. It's not a law. This is a public office. I am in public. Okay. The Supreme Court has ruled that I can take. Ma'am, quiet. The Supreme Court has ruled that I can take pictures in public. Anything that's open to the public, you have no expectation of privacy in public. 
So anything you guys are saying is incorrect. It's not a law. She, she just told you has it to be It doesn't matter what she said, but it's is that a law? It doesn't matter what I say, and it doesn't matter what you say. Well, because I'm a private citizen and you're a public servant, so it's a little different. Exactly, and I have right. a duty to protect this office. And I have a right to be in public. I have a right to be in public lobby. I have a right to gather content for my story. And I have a right to get the paperwork that I'm going to get after. So you guys are going to have to put your hands on me. I'm telling you because I'm not going to move. Well, then I'm not. I'm not moving. Period. So I'm not going to happen. It's not going to happen. I, I have content together for a story. I'm not going to leave. This is public, and I can be here. I suggest you go ask one of your lawyers up there before you do something dumb. Okay. Okay. Well, you will. You will. It's, you're asking, and I'm denying the request. I can be here. That sign is not a law. Okay. So you, you can be here. Yeah, business here. But you got this is business. Put this is called the First okay. Amendment, sir. Okay. Put yourself in the negative. Point. No, not gonna happen. Okay. This is the First Amendment, and I have a right to be here. And the Supreme Court's ruled over and over in a public office. I can do this. So, if you guys are gonna escalate the situation, go ahead, and I'll, I'll happily attach myself to your pension and make sure you guys uh, get reprimanded. So, other than that, I'm not moving. Mm -hmm. I don't give it. You have to. You're a public servant, right? Yeah. So that's it. Pretty simple. I don't see why you guys are escalating the situation. No, you guys are cornering me. This guy's yelling, talking about there's a sign here. Get out! And you guys are pushing. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. That's a policy, not a law. I don't have to abide by that. So it's that simple. I don't know why you guys don't get it. So, <laughs> anyways, I need to continue what I'm doing. So unless you guys are going are, are detaining me or something, I'm going to go about my business. So am I being illegally detained or something? Okay, I know, and here's here's where I can enter and continue to do my job. So well, right now, I'm saying to stop and wait until you're being asked. Is that, uh, is that, is that a law? Like Still not a law. I never said I don't have any type of business. I said right now this is my business, and then I'm going to get some paperwork from you, and it's on camera report. So that's business. On top of that, this right here, gathering content for my story, is legally considered business. So. I don't need any help. I'm going to continue. Well, yeah, I'll, I'll, end up, I'll end up getting that. Right now, I'm going to take pictures. So I have steps. First, I'm going to take my pictures. No, I, no, I need different angles and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of pictures I'll take. So it doesn't matter what they're asking. They have the right to ask Negative. This is public. This is public. This is public. This is public, sir. Okay, is it not? Do here, you can I do. But they have signs saying no cell phones. It, 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 like let me get a from this angle, okay? <laughs> they're, they're trying to they're trying to hold me up in here. So, right. so I'll let you know. I know, and I can go in here too, and there's nothing you can do. So stop. <laughs> it's not going to happen. I have business in here, and I'm conducting it right now. I'm not impeding anything. You guys are stopping me from conducting my business. <laughs> it doesn't matter. What's that matter? What law is that, sir? What law? What law? They cannot. This is public. If you have business in here, then go to your business. Besides this. No, this is going to be done as well. But no. You don't have a choice, bud. You're not the boss here. This is a public <laughs> lobby. The Supreme Court's ruled on this over and over. I can record in public. People now have it, have no expectation of privacy in public. Look it up. There's there's like ten of them. Look it up. I do. I do. Go ahead. Look it up. I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to be your teacher. Look it up. It's pretty simple. I am. I know that you can't do anything about me being here. It's very clear. And I know that I need to conduct my business, and you're stopping me at this point. This is a public. You guys have been stopping me for about the last twelve minutes. And it's on camera. I don't need to ask for anything. I need to take my pictures where I want to, and then I need to ask for the paperwork I need, and then I need to leave and be on about my way and my business. And if you guys are in the DA's office, you should go back and wait for me because I'm going to hop in there too, and I'm going to do the same exact thing. 
Okay? But so what do you need to do, sir? I'm, t- I'm taking pictures at the... So, it's that simple. That simple. Well, it's not that simple. It is. Sure. I'm going to take pictures. All of our time here. I, and I don't, I have no clue why you're here. I have no clue why you're here. I'm being very cordial. Mm-hmm. And you guys are creating a disturbance for the most part. So, And it doesn't seem like you guys understand the way the law works. So... You, you, like, like this guy who's obviously law enforcement is trying to enforce a policy which is feelings and you can't enforce feelings sir you, you can only enforce laws so what but, law but, would this be okay. <laughs> so you guys but should like go back to work but you're dismissed okay. I don't need you okay I don't need anything from you I don't need you either okay so okay. go back to work and I'm going to continue to do my job okay well whatever you guys are dismissed. I don't need you guys. I need to go back to do my work. Am I being detained is the question. Well, the Am I being detained? The yes or no? Am I being detained? You're not, you're not being detained. We're not going to allow you to walk around here and film. You don't have a choice. I do. You do. You don't. <laughs> well, unless you're going to physically detain me, I am going to walk around here and take pictures. So, And if you are, then you're going to create a lawsuit for the county. I suggest you don't do that. I suggest you actually go look up the law, sir. This is a public lobby. I'm allowed to take pictures in public. People have no expectation of privacy in public. It's been ruled on several times. So, is there anything else you guys need from me? Because I need to continue with my job. So what they're doing is basically locking me in a corner, trying to push me out the door. You got them holding the door open. We got a smart guy. Oh, so you good? Yeah, just taking some pictures. You in costume, don't worry, I won't get you. I'm not worried about private citizens at all. Okay, so we just uh, uh so is there anything that we can do right now to um, to help what your needs are? Uh, answer answered that question already. I'm just asking. going back I'm going back to work would be a good idea. Well this is my work. So, this is? As I'm, as I'm doing this, I'm trying to work here on the mobile. So give me one second. So, like, you guys are, are basically here for a cameraman, and that's your work? I'm mm, getting a lot of calls. So just trying to understand what business you need and trying to help you. Again, I'm, I'm not going to speak about it anymore. I'm going to go ahead and well, use my Fifth here. Amendment right. doesn't that matter. It's public. Well. I'm allowed to do this in public. So I'm not going to. You've been going around and around in que- with questions using your investigator tactics. No, I'm just not going to answer so that's it. And it's not going to answer. So I'm going to go about my business, and then I'm going to grab the paperwork I need, and then I'll be out of here. And it's that simple. I'm not going to answer questions. And it's pretty clear. So anyways, I'll see you guys later. If I'm not being detained, I'm allowed to do my thing, and I'm going to continue to do my thing. Don't worry about it. I won't get you. Oh, my goodness. These guys are something else. I'm extremely surprised that people that work for the Butte County District Attorney would not understand this and would try to enforce this as a law rather than a policy and feelings. That's something something very interesting for the DA's office, and they're going to get the whole county seat. Here goes this guy who's gonna tell him there's nothing we can do and he can do this and and that's it. <laughs> Alright, go let him know I can be here and this is okay.
is the office? Is he still under a public office? <laughs> is this is business hours? If you close it, you close it to everybody, not just me. Uh, to every everybody. Yeah, go ahead. That's fine. If you guys are going to waste the public's resources and money, I'll make sure I get that on film as well and expose it. Oh, that was professional. Kathy, Kathy, accounting specialist, called me an idiot. All right. We got this lady with her camera instead of working. Okay. You, you do, but not while you're working. Cool. Uh, office is now closed. You're okay. Cool. Yeah. Everybody. At, once everybody leaves, then then I will. I have no problem. But I need a. Yep. All right. Everybody leaves, so they are closing the office. People in here, they're going to refuse to give me my paperwork that I need. So you have, you have to ask paperwork. Stay right here. Not yet, because I'm taking pictures. What part of this don't you get, bud? You're too used to being the boss, so you're not the boss, okay? You're not the boss. Unless somebody commits a crime, or you have reasonable suspicion of a right, crime, okay? Time. I know. And what am I doing? I'm walking, right? I appreciate you walking. Cool. Yeah. Thank you. And I'll just stay right here. And what's your name? Okay, I'll make sure. You, you're gonna, you're gonna hear from like fifty thousand people. That's great. So I hope I hope you lose your job. We will. We will. I promise you. We will. <laughs> this is the lady that has the attitude that closed the office because somebody's reporting, and you got these people that work for the DA's office who are trying to enforce laws. Oh, it's, it's locked there, huh? They close the office during work hours. Oh, you got, you got these idiots over here saying some people ruin it for others. I agree. The the lady who just closed the office, she definitely ruined it for others. I agree with you. Well, I think you might have done that. Oh, taking, exercising the First Amendment, right? There's no disrespect. Being a little rude when they're asking you to do that. It, that's not that's not rude. It's public, and you can do it. But did Law you, enforcement, you right? Is there? Law enforcement Clear. or yeah. feelings? Clear. Or feelings? Which one? Because okay, because she tried to enforce feelings, and those two clowns in there tried to enforce feelings. So and what you're and saying, and I can do I can do that. I, I totally have the office to do that too. And you can stay here all day. Actually, actually, the public pay taxes to keep those offices open. So really they can't. And so what's going to happen is when I put this out and we start complaining and, and filing, sending emails and calling, they're going to get a big earful. And then tomorrow I'll come back, right? And I'll go back in and it'll be totally different. It won't close. Nobody will say anything. They'll all be educated. So that's actually doing good. As well as you guys will be educated as well. So. Am I? Well, we'll find out, huh? Yeah, we'll find out. Because I've done this in, in, in hundreds of counties all across the states. And so I, I might know a little bit more about what I'm talking about than you do. Okay, so. of course. Yeah, anyways. Uh, yeah, uh huh. Pride comes before the fall, what an idiot. Conversation. You know, I'm curious. I you're, 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 you're fine to be here, but mm -hmm. I'm having a private conversation. You no, know, take it in private. So. Yeah, this is public. So. Hey, Robbie, hang out here. We'll go inside real quick. Okay, yeah, yeah. What's your name, sir? My name is Officer Eric Okay. Badge number? 
It is 17. Okay. Yeah. Just carry. We're going to go inside the secure facility. Do what you do. Mm -hmm. so, yep, do what you do. And I'll be right here. Okay. And I'll wait. I'll wait for you. All right. Like no, yeah, and I can't go in there. You're right. Mm -hmm. But there's a code in here. Maybe you'll be right away. So I'm asking you to meet us wherever we're meeting. Well, you're not meeting me anywhere because they just closed an office and you guys sat there and tried to kick me out of it for 20 minutes. That's not meeting me anywhere. And you guys need to learn that this is okay to do. Uh, I'll let you guys go in yours and then I'll go up in the the public entrance to the to the DA club. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I'll just wait for you going. All good. And I'm not interested in your code either. I could care less. So oh, you're going this way. Here I'll talk to you over here. You guys can block it. I don't I could care less about your code. I don't break laws, man. Well, I obey all the laws. So okay. And I know them well, as you could probably tell. Well when the department <laughs> asked you what case thought you I can get I can give them I don't need to okay Bay fam here we go with this again if you can't say it you can't cite the case you can't give us the name you can't say the penal code so on and so forth you must not know it and I'll be the first to admit I don't memorize all the penal codes I don't memorize what they all say I don't memorize all the case laws that I read or the names of the case laws and things of that nature and I also don't believe that telling these people these case laws at this time is even going to teach them anything because I believe that they already know that there is no reasonable expectation of privacy in public. They just don't like what I'm doing, so they're trying to intimidate me out of my rights. It's pointless to have a legal talk with police officers most of the time. That's what I believe, and that's why I stopped doing it a long time ago as well. I don't want to sit there and have the same thing said in my videos over and over and over again. What I will say is off the top of my head, I believe that Cats versus the United States was the first case to explore reasonable expectation of privacy. Though I could be wrong, and I believe it's like a 1960s or <coughs> 70s or maybe even a 50s case, I'm not too sure. But many other cases have came after it, like Smith versus Cummings and so on. There's many cases that are Supreme Court cases, and there's some cases that are circuit court cases. But just because I don't spit these things out here with these police officers and have these arguments or legal discussions doesn't mean that I don't read these things and know some of these things. Again, I'm not an expert, but I know a thing or two. So let's proceed. Don't let police fool you or throw you off your game when they say, if you can't say it, you must not know it. Read up on these things, learn these things. BAT, let's get back to the video. I can easily We're give them to you. you. Look, you, but, and that's what I'm saying, you guys should look them up. And when I send my complaint emails as far as what you guys violated, right, or tried to, you guys didn't uh, exactly succeed, then the case law will be in there for sure. But, you know, it's that simple. I don't, I'm not out here to spit off all the case laws to you guys. But I mean, it's, it's pretty simple. It's the, it, I know, but it's the, so the easiest one is the First Amendment, right? Freedom of what? Press, right? And it's free press. It's not, well, we have a press card and this and that, anybody's press, right? Even you guys when you're off duty and you can go record anywhere you want as long as it's public, right? And you're gonna say what? I just think what? I just think when it's a building like that, you shouldn't do it. Uh, Okay, yeah. and all, what I was going to say to that is that's feelings, not law. Law only, right? So, anyway, so I'm just hanging out with you guys. We got, we got some cops leaving. One cop said he has no clue why he's here, so I'm not doing anything wrong. See, and I don't care about your code. Okay. So, you, take care. Oh, boy. So, you try to be respectful to him, and you got some who are calling you idiots and all kind of stuff. We have a bunch of private citizens out here who I will not get on the camera. And we've got a bunch of public servants who don't understand the way the law works. So this guy was trying, this guy right here, and where's my finger, that guy, was trying to enforce this sign. Because they say no cell phones, you can't have a cell phone. And that's not the way it works. And you have this lady back here who's kind of hiding behind this pillar. 
who literally closed the office during business hours, during business hours, and is not letting people in. And this is the treasury tax collector for Butte County out here in Oroville, California. All right, all right. And what I will do is I'm gonna go to this other office over here, the assessor, and I'm gonna um, go, go ahead and go into that office. Compared with other chews, one Brevecto chew protects from fleas and ticks for 12 weeks, nearly three times longer. Use with caution in dogs with a history of seizures and neurological disorders. Protection that lasts longer? Bravo, Brevecto, bravo. And I'm going to see that when I come back, if they let these people in and they have the doors locked, then they are specifically keeping me out for exercise of my First Amendment, right? And um, at that point, that will be more to give them an earful of that. into the back again and you got this lady who was extra extra rude right here she was so rude it was unbelievable man that lady was mean oh they let somebody in look at that kicking us out but let this guy in so just like I thought doors locked you guys can see, door's locked, door's locked, and you have an individual here who's back in there, who's in there in the beginning. So, they're doing exactly what I thought they would do when I walk away. They would let people in and uh, purposely keep me out. So, now that I got that on camera, I can go ahead and get out of here. All right, right, hey fam, it's your boy, Bay Harry Transparency. Back at it once again, Butte County Admin. We got this uh, little DA uh, office wannabe. Uh, we got this clown too. This guy was kind of trying to enforce feelings. Not the smartest guy in the world. Hope you learned something, babe. What's that? Said, I hope you learned something. What's the last word? Babe. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, what what do you think I said, bitch? I can do that too. Okay. But I don't typically disrespect people like that. Although you guys disrespected me by trying to violate my first amendment, right? I still want to Or he's not trying to at all. Well you did. Those ladies in there. That's not a law, bud. That's hilarious. <laughs>